Hey guys, welcome to Community Table where I take your pantry staples on a trip around the world. And this week, my world is really difficult. Um, some of you know I have struggled with depression since the birth of my first child, Alaya. And this week, it's really bad. This week, um, I've been in tears a lot. I've just wanted to be in bed a lot. I've really not wanted to do anything. But that is not possible. When you're married and you have children, you got to get up and do stuff. And so um, I've been doing whatever I can, getting a lot of sleep and going for walks and praying a lot. But of course, food is going to be part of it. So I am making a bright, sunny, happy, pure, innocent taste of my childhood, which is mango lassi. And I wanted to share it with you. The difference with uh, this version compared to what I made when I was a child is this one is dairy free because mama can't do the dairy so well anymore. <laughs> so I can't be depressed and gassy people. That's just, that's too sad. That's too many things. So let's get making it, okay? Okay, for your mango lassi, you will need cashew milk yogurt, canned mango pot, collagen peptides, frozen mango or some ice cubes, salt, sugar, green cardamom pods, and as a final touch, some candy coated fennel seeds. The issue with a lot of mango lassi recipes that I see is that they're using fresh mango and there's no way you're going to get that intense mango flavor out of the fresh mangoes that we get here in the States. They just don't compare to the mangoes we get in India, which are really, really intensely mango flavored. So the way that I'm doing that is by going to the Indian store or going online on Amazon and getting some of this canned mango pulp. The Quesa mangoes, the Alfonso mangoes, those are the mangoes that are like 10 out of 10, king of all mangoes <laughs> back home. And so that's how we're gonna get that bright orange color and that intense mango flavor. You feel me? Good. So you need a cup of the cashew milk yogurt. I love this stuff. And then a cup of the mango puree. Look at that color, huh? It's peptides for a little protein and also for my skin and my hair a tablespoon of white sugar. You can use honey or things like that, but I think they have too much flavor in them actually. Salt, a couple of green cardamom pods. I'm just gonna use the seeds. I'm actually gonna do three today. Mangoes and cardamom are just made for each other. And then I like it ice cold, so instead of using ice, I have some frozen mango. I'm gonna toss some of that in. Uh, let's just do half of that for now. Waz it up. Mm. It's just a happy flavor mango, isn't it? It's just sunshiny and creamy. This is how we would have had it as kids, but I'm gonna make it a little extra fancy. So I made some coconut whipped cream that I'm putting right on top there. Candy coated fennel seeds. Again, something you can find at the Indian store. My kids call these Indian sprinkles. Look at how pretty they are. And then I've got a couple of edible flowers, don't I? Hello. That's for me. Okay, I'm gonna taste it all together. With whipped cream, fennel seeds, the mango. Mm. This makes me think of summer days growing up in Dubai. It was so hot, there was really nothing to do outside. And my nan would make us mango milkshakes, which were basically mango lassies and we would get so <laughs> excited about it. And this is totally taking me back there um, and lifting my spirits just a little bit. So if you are struggling right now because the pressure of everything that's going on is getting to you, know that you're not alone. I'm right there with you. I'm not saying this is gonna solve everything, but it might put a little pep in your step.
that's all I got for you, sister. Okay, if you want to make this recipe, um, it's either down below or on my website. I'll have the link there for you. Please tag me if you make it so that I can see how it turned out. Um, you're basically my recipe testers, and I love seeing you guys enjoying these recipes and my memories from my childhood. All right, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you next time.